Hello YouTubers. I'm going to be showing how I'm going to make a free roll sprocket for this motor here. This is an MY1018Z uh, geared motor. It has an 11 millimeter shaft and it's got a, a key slot in there. And typically it's used for this gear right here. That is a fixed gear that came with the motor. However, I want to get a free wing sprocket on it. Now, there is a 9 tooth and 10 tooth sprocket you can get from Switzerland, but it's about 100 bucks to have it shipped here. So instead, I'm going to try and use this as a free sprocket. This is actually a free roll sprocket uh, from Cyclone. And what I want to do is I'm going to try and fit it onto this motor. But of course, as you can see there, it doesn't fit because that's 11 millimeters and this is 20 millimeters. So, my idea is I'm going to try and take this gear, I'm going to cut all around here. This inside circle just so happens to be right about 20 millimeters since it's going to be able to fit inside here. So I'm going to cut all these teeth off. However, I'm going to leave one tooth remaining because I want it to fit inside this slot that came with the cyclone motor. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Go ahead and cut off all the teeth except one, and then the, the one tooth that's remaining, I'm going to file it down and make it fit this key slot. That is the idea, so I'm going to get started by taking my saw and cutting these off. Angle grinder, actually, it will do the job. Well, I cut the gear and I got this. So lots of sparks flying and came really hot, but this is the next stage. Notice I left one of the teeth that's left because eventually it's gonna go inside this. And so now I need to start grinding this down. And so that way it'll fit perfectly inside here I have to also grind down that gear, the one tooth that's left, and so that way that'll fit perfectly uh, inside this one. So that is the next stage I need to do. Well, YouTubers, I finally finished my shaft adapter for this Cyclone freewheel sprocket. This I need, wanted to fit onto my MY1018Z motor. So this was originally that nine tooth sprocket that came with the original motor. And I cut all the teeth off except this last one. This last one now fits into this slot here. And so now I have a way to connect this sprocket to the MY1018Z uh, geared motor. Because it's using the original uh, key slot that fits the motor itself and now I just adapted it to be able to fit this free wheel. So now all I have to do is put some little JB weld into this to hold it all in place and I'll be able to put it onto the motor.